So in this video, we're going to go over how to put together your polisher when you get it out of the box. It'll come with the main body, um, this central post that holds the main body up and connects it to the base. The base here with the casters on it, your chute for your castles, and your empty castle separator. Um, to do this, you will also need a size 5 Allen wrench and a size 15 normal wrench. To start, you're going to take the main post, um, take the lock bolts out of it that are going to lock it in place when you put it back together, and the pin that keeps it attached to the base. We'll put that in there. This bolt, again, size 13 if you want a wrench. It really doesn't need to be more than tightened by hand like that. It doesn't need to be super tight or anything. But if you want to, you can use those. And then I would start these, but not fully tighten them. As you can see, this is going, these are going to lock it in place, the tilt of the main body when it's standing up. So next, just unthread this collar from the base of the post, put the bottom with the casters on there, thread that back on, and then you can set the machine itself down. Okay, so next we're going to put the empty castle separator back on. Um, when you get your polisher out of the box and put together to this point, these brackets might be loose or at the very least facing that way. Um, you do want them out like this for that to rest on. Um, this will also have two bolts in it. Just make sure you take those out before you put it on. And that just goes in there and then it will rest on the top of these brackets. You're going to want to get your Allen head to this, the number five. Once you get both sides in, you can then tighten up the back, the other bolt from this so that they don't rotate, and then it will rest just like that. Finally, after you get the empty castle separator on there, you're going to want to put the air regulator back on. Just slide through that, and then the nut goes on top. Put your air hoses in, you just press this on the fitting, you just press, and then you can slide the hose in. You'll have to provide an air attachment of your own on that side. And then you put the hopper back in, and you're good to go. That's it.